Hello, all you plantophiles. Chicory, one of my favorite weeds. I'm reporting to you from my shack in the woods up here along Little Traverse Bay. It's a wonderful little shack. But anyway, I've been controlling, trying to control. It's like controlling the tides. Marsh thistle, terribly invasive. And we've gone through our various evolutions. Started out with a, a glyphosate, which no bueno, no more. Nothing gets sprayed in here anymore. It's all mechanical, which means pulling. But because of the, the weird labor shortage, it's hard to find people. We're running lean as far as people to help out here. I haven't had much of a chance this year to yank the marsh vessel, but I had an idea. And this might benefit you too. If you're in an area where you have invasives, especially invasives that have kind of that, that, that fuzz attached to the seed that just drift around, how about this? And I'm going to do this. I am investigating the purchase of <clears throat> a rechargeable vacuum cleaner. Oh, yeah. See, the problem with marsh thistle is if you were just to go through and clip the seed head or yank it out and leave the roots, the things become monsters. They are vindictive. You yank out the single stem plant, you leave the a few leaves and the roots, it's going to be a six stem monster with a hundred times more flowers on it than it would have normally had. And so you need to get either the entire plant out of the ground or you need to have some way to control the seeds without the plant knowing about it. Chargeable vacuum cleaner. And I think it might work where you just it goes to seed, the fluff is developing, it's on the cusp of blowing all over the place and promoting its, its uh, nastiness over a wider breadth of area, I think that I could just simply vacuum the seeds up. It's worth a try. Once I get that vacuum cleaner and I test it out, I shall let you know how it works out. You know, there, hopefully there is always a way to do something. It's just up to us to figure it out. Well, it is now time to make breakfast. I'm playing the lone hand this morning because uh, circumstances in the, the life of the one employee that was scheduled today prevents her to, from being here, and I completely understand. It's totally understandable. So I better make sure I eat my eggs and my homemade hash browns. I have to admit, I went to the store. Bought a big cup of coffee and a donut. It's like the second donut I've eaten in two years, but by gosh, I was looking at it, and that was one good-looking donut. Have a good one. Enjoy your day. It's a wonderful 62 degrees here. Um, that's why I like it. <laughs>